Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 7 feature tutorials, tuples brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about the important feature of C Sharp version 7 that is tuples. So often we want to return more than one value from a class method. Prior to the introduction of tuples in .NET, there were common ways to do so. So if you want to return multiple values from a method, so how can we do that? We can achieve that with the help of out parameters or class or struct types or anonymous types returned through a dynamic return type. These are the ways we can uh, use to return a multiple values from a method. So tuples solve this problem. Tuples are not new to C Sharp or .NET. Tuples were first introduced as a part of .NET Framework 4.0. And what is tuple actually? Tuple is a data structure that provides an easy way to represent a single set of data. Okay. Uh, for example, if you want to return multiple values from a single variable, then how can I do that? I can achieve that with the help of tuple. So this tuple is present in a namespace called system.tuple. Okay. And the system.tuple class provides static methods to create a tuple objects. So without wasting much time, let me show you how to create a tuple. It's very simple. So or another before starting before we start to code let us understand other important things of tuples tuples allow us to create access and manipulate a data set and return a data set from a method without using out parameter and you can return multiple values without this keyword out and pass multiple values to a method through a single parameter this is what the specialty of tuple you can pass multiple values to a single parameter and using that single parameter we can uh, we can execute all the values present in that parameter with the help of tuples okay and creating and accessing tuples is very easy we can create a tuple using its constructor or we have a method called create method okay so we'll see like how to create tuple in these two ways like using constructor or the create method so let me jump to visual studio and let me show you a demo of it first what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to create a tuple using its constructor so where oh, author is equal to new let me call the tuple type yes and here i'm going to specify okay what are the types i'm going to return string string and let me return one integer too so within this i need to pass the values to each of them so the first one is i'm going to pass my name itself arish it's the author then the author is of c sharp programming okay then uh, int so let me pass the year 2017 so this is how you will create a tuple this is one way using the constructor so tuple constructor now let me print them each of them it's very simple console.write line so what I'll do is I'll just tell like author okay uh, I'm using placeholders wrote this first book titled one in the year yeah yeah I want to pass it here so what I'm going to do right now is I'll tell like author comma author dot the first thing I need to pass is the name or okay we can't pass the name we have to access them with the help of item oh, yes. item one so item one then author dot item two so in a sense item one item two item one represents the author name two represents the book name and three represents the year when it was released item three so you can observe very clearly this is what the syntax how it looks okay this is how we'll create a tuple with the help of tuple constructor now when I run this piece of code so it's going to print like author Harish wrote C sharp programming in the year 2017 this is what it's going to print right now on the console window this is how we can create a constructor you can observe very clearly this is what it's printing author Harish wrote his first book titled C sharp programming in 2017 this is what it has printed and that you can observe very clearly how did we pass the multiple values with the help of this tuple okay so this is one way of creating it okay uh, using 
टपल कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मेक यूज ऑफ क्रिएट मेथड यूजिंग क्रिएटिंग अ टपल यूजिंग क्रिएट मेथड create method okay so now what I'll do is uh, let me create again something called pub or let me tell like author something like this then I'll call this tuple class then I have a method called create okay this create method okay it takes the values okay um, so I'm going to pass directly the values like first one the string I need to select Mahesh okay the second value I'm going to pass is the book name C++ or C sharp I wrote the book in the year in the year uh, let me tell like 2014 so now this is what we have done so let me print it each of them very easily so console dot right line so again the same thing so but what I'll do is instead of this I need to specify this one it's a published author pub represents published author so what we are trying to do is we are trying to we are trying to uh, create okay create a tuples in two ways one using constructor and one using create method if I use a constructor I need to tell the types earlier itself but in the create method automatically takes the type whatever whenever you enter the value whenever you enter the value so now let us execute this piece of code now you can observe very clearly okay uh, author Arish wrote his first book titled C sharp programming in 2017 author Mahesh wrote his first book titled C sharp in 2014 this is what the different ways to create a tuple okay one using the constructor another using the constructor method okay that is create method sorry so this is what about the constructor uh, the constructor way and the create method of creating a tuple so now uh, let me show you like uh, how can we create let me show you with other simple example like how can I work with a tuple so let me remove these things as of now so let me delete it so now let me what I'll do first here is first let me create a class called uh, tuple samples Oops. class is tuple samples so now what I'll do is first let me create a method inside that okay it's a uh, let me create a tuple public and first let me tell like what it's going to take string comma string and uh, let me give it as long okay. then I'm going to specify tuple the method name as tuple return literal let me take it as double return so uh, I'm going to pass a parameter here and the parameter is ID or this ID and now here uh, let me create string name is equal to let me initialize the values as empty as of now string empty similarly let me do it for it is title its name actually and the second part is title and now let me add the year long year equals zero okay this is what I've done right now so what I'm trying to do is next in my sentence I'm trying to tell like if okay if this ID the parameter what we are passing here okay if ID is equal to equal to thousand okay then I'm telling like you set the name value to Sam okay then title value to C sharp okay then 
the year value when it was published to as 2017 so this is what we are trying to do right now and since it method it should see we are getting error because it's like it's not going to it's not returning okay so let me specify what's going to return right now your return okay it's going to return the three things today's name uh, title I guess yes it's title then year these are the things this tuple method is going to return us so it's going to return the name title and year and we have specified a condition if the ID is equal to thousand then do this then assign these values so now what I need to do is okay what I've done here right now um, right now I have uh, these things what I need to I inside this method here and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to I, I've placed this inside the class called tuple sample so what I'll do I'll create an object of this tuple samples right now so what I need to do is first I need to create an object of the tuple samples tuple samples st is equal to okay now uh, I'll create something variable called where author is equal to let me access the method okay ts dot tuple return so here I need to pass a parameter to this ID so I'll pass as thousand why because here I specified the condition as thousand so if that is the case it's going to assign the values to that parameters what we are created there to this things name title and year so right now I have done that so next objective is I need to print them so how do I print it so I need to tell like mm, author okay uh, wrote first book titled title the year okay this is what right now I've done so what I'll do is I'll specify author dot okay the item one then again author dot item two and again in the order author dot item 3 so item 1 will be consisting of the name of the author 2 will be consisting of the book name title and the 3 will be having the year okay um, right now we are done with these things now let me execute this piece of code let me check out how it executes so it's else like author Sam wrote first book title C sharp in the year 2017 so this is what about the tuple is so if you want to return multiple values from a method then we can make use of tuple instead of out okay because in compulsively when we use out in the calling method also we have to make use of that keyword out but in tuple that's not necessary we have to make use of the out keyword okay this is what about the tuple okay and so we can make this code still readable okay to make the above this code readable uh, we can name the tuple return type values okay the code snippet uh, whatever we can observe here we can change we can name the tuple return value so what I'll do is right now I'll name them telling like it's a name and to this let me tell like it's I'm, I'm going to what I'm trying to do is I'm uh, what we can do is we can name the tuple return type values this is the tuple return type values we are naming that okay and uh, long year okay and now that's what I'm trying to do right now here we can name it and now when I run this still it works fine it tells like author Sam wrote first book title C sharp in the 2017 so this is what about the tuples is so what I do is I just uh, named okay just name the tuple written values that's all nothing else apart from that so this is how you can work with the tuples if you want to return multiple values from a method then you can go with the tuples that's a very simple thing you can work with you can make use of the tuples instead of using without so that's what we learned in the session like what about tuples so we can create tuples in two ways one using the constructor and using the create method so 
this is what about the tuples what we learned in this session so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel angle training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter further reference to our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day